this is the type of bus that you're thinking about going out and buying, okay? I'm gonna show you everything here that uh, you really need to consider. It's gonna take longer to dry out, okay? That's the principle behind why these things rust out. Or it'll be covered over. So you need to be, you know, checking to see, can you see any, you might have a little magnet with you as well. That's a good idea to bring a magnet and just pin it to it and see if it's all the same strength. Because that's how you'll know with a little magnet. Yeah, if it's really strong here, well, guess, you know, the thickness of the metal is the same up here. So it should have the same resistance when you go pulling it off. That's how you would actually check it. You know, if it's hard to pull it here, it'll be hard to pull it here. Unless, of course, that's fillers or bondo. Hi guys, welcome back. This video is all about the Bay Bus, which started production in 1967. We'll say 67 stroke 68, and went on up until 79, okay? This video is quite important video um, because it covers all the areas that the Bay Bus is prone to rust out on. And if you're about to go and buy one of these classic buses then um, I would highly recommend before you do unless you know about these buses obviously um, that this video and the viewing and uh, the detail that's in it is essential to for you to to make and uh, purchase the right bus okay um, some people in the past have bought these buses and uh, it's turned out to be a nightmare um, so yeah so let's get the cover off this baby, yeah? And I'll show you what to look out for. Okay guys, so if this is the bus that you're thinking about buying, not this particular one now, okay. If this is the type of bus that you're thinking about going out and buying, okay. I'm going to show you everything here that uh, you really need to consider. Now I will tell you when to stay away from stuff, right. If it's if it's like a tin, it, it's seriously rusted and in areas, there's areas, there's certain areas of a bus like this um, and if you see... Uh, rust or rot like I will show you um, I'll try and add it into this video as well just to give you an example of then definitely stay away from that kind of stuff right unless unless you're like me uh, uh, you know uh, Joe's rust buckets I mean it's not problem okay for me but I'm you know that's that's different right um, it doesn't matter whether you're man woman or child with this this video it's about what you'll be capable of doing if you understand what I mean if you if you can't weld then definitely stay away from 90 percent of what i'm going to show you right you need to buy a bus that has all the photographs of all the work that's been done with tens of thousands or definitely thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds euros and dollars spent on it right so if you're not able to weld some people are able to do a bit and i will talk about that kind of stuff and i'll also you know i'll show you like what to stay away from just just hold on to your money and stay away from it because you won't have any satisfaction from it, right? Trust me. Now, um, what else I was going to say to you was, okay, so you're going to look at your bus, okay? Your potential bus, right? And I tend to start at the front. All the videos I've made up to now, I've started at the front of the bus. All, it's not about videos I've made. It's about where I start. 
So if you start, when, when you come and look for your bus and you start at the front of the bus and you say to the guy, uh, do you mind if I have like 10 minutes? Um, I just would like 10 minutes on my own to go around and look at the bus myself. Okay, now you, you will have the knowledge from this video with you, right? So start at the front of the bus and work your way through it methodically like I'm going to show you with this tour okay uh, and I'll show you what to watch out for it'll take five or ten minutes for you to do this but you know um, yeah I'll show you all the bits that you need to be careful of and, and just some of the stuff that isn't as important and it's okay it's not the end of the world type of stuff okay so here we go let's get stuck into this I hope you enjoy it I hope you find it informative I hope it saves you money time and bother that's the most important part, yeah? Um, okay, so let's get doing this. Okay, guys, so. Top of the bus, okay? Front of the bus. That's where we're going to start, right? And here's the first thing I'll say, I've, and it's, I'll always say it. Water comes from the sky, it comes down along, right? As the water comes down any vehicle, it slows as it gets to the bottom. Right? Why is that important? Well, road grime and dust collect from the bottom of the bus up. Okay? That's where the dust and the dirt comes from. It comes from the ground and it comes from the road. So keep this in mind. And it's a, this is a, you know, a whole learning thing as well. From the bottom up. So as the water comes down from the top, it runs quicker, runs quicker. As it gets towards the bottom, it slows down more. Because it has to cut through the grime. And the road dust and dirt. Yeah, where it collects. Wow. Anyway. It gets slower. And also drying out. It takes longer to dry out. Because there's grime and dirt, etc. So the bottom part of your vehicle. It don't matter what vehicle it is. It's going to take longer to dry out. Okay. That's the principle behind why these things rust out so starting at the front of the bus the corners of the windows right here so usually and a lot of times this panel along here the top here or the bottom of the windscreen will have areas or it'll be completely rusted or it'll be covered over so you need to be you know checking to see can you see any you might have a little magnet with you as well that's a good idea to bring a magnet and just put, pin it to it and see if it's all the same strength because that's how you'll know with a little magnet yeah if it's really strong here well guess you know the thickness of the metal is the same up here so it should have the same resistance when you go pulling it off that's how you would actually check it you know if it's hard to pull it here it'll be hard to pull it here unless of course that's fillers or bondo whatever you call it where you come from okay so the bottom of the windscreen usually at the corners of the windscreen yeah here this is where it rots out first guys that's what I'm telling you this is the first part that will rot out in this aperture the windscreen area here and water goes in there and it gets into the floor inside and it rots out your your cab floors okay that's it really you know that's the most vulnerable place there bottom of the windscreen you can have rust kind of here you know but that none of that's really you know that's okay it's okay it's not the end of the world yeah um so now we move over to the doors right the most important part of your door all this area most times will be okay okay however here from here in the door all the way along okay and down and this bottom piece, again, the bottom piece will be the most vulnerable because it's closer to the road grime and dirt. Yeah? So, doors, five, six hundred quid a piece. You know, to get good doors. All right, bust, we're doing okay, yeah? Okay, we'll get into it after a while. Um, okay, so you go in here to the footwell area. Okay? And it, it could be rusted out. You can lift the mats. And check to make sure it's okay underneath yeah this is a repair piece that's been put in and now it's going back in to get finished off it is evident from this stain 
which is just water sitting on top that has to be checked out now because this area I've replaced right a whole new corner on the step here and and um, and this footwell was done and put in and I'm gonna have to check to see because this was sealed and it shouldn't have leaked basically it's just on the top and I'm gonna get that off now as soon as this vid is finished so it's not the end of the world if you need um, cab floor yeah sections right it really isn't that big a deal it's an easy enough job to access okay um, a lot of the time moving back now on the wheel arch a lot of the time your seat belt anchorage point will be gone I'll show you some examples right of what you could be looking for this is all flush and finished and nice okay on the videos I show you how to do this okay um, maybe you're a mediocre welder right so there's tuition there as regards that um, and creating this corner right same in here under the wheel not sure about the lighting guys it should be okay this is the bulge panel and that's been done yeah all around here has been done really nice um, but that's an area that's prone to go again it's behind the front wheel the wheel kicks up all the mud and the grime and it, it doesn't dry it, it, it sticks it stays in there and then when the when it gets wet it's the slowest part to dry out that's why these things rust the way they do that's why every vehicle would rust the way it does yeah moving on um, so the bottom of the doors the foot wells the anchors right check all these areas and if they're all good then you know what things are looking good for you you could possibly be getting yourself a bus now always right behind this seat in this area here again this has been done I might be able to show you this as well guys yeah um, what what it would look like okay but you could lift a mat, you know, if it's mats, by all means. And this is why I say to you to ask the guy for 10 minutes on your own that you can go through it and just say, is it okay if I lift the mats in the cab? You know, and if he says, yeah, no problem, then you do, you lift the mats. Uh, you make your own mind up if he says, no, you can't lift the mats because you know what, guys, I've always lifted mats. Yeah, only to find holes. But at least I know how bad, you know, um, the sill along here right you can see there's holes this sill has gone really weak yeah so that's going to need doing again the bottom of the sliding door yeah along here you can see from here you just go in put your head in have a look around have a look all along the bottom see if it's crunchy that's okay that door is good right you're not going to be able to see a lot because there's obviously furniture or interior etc okay so we've covered that much we've gone through the sill okay if it's rotted out a little bit here in this area that's not the end of the world guys it's okay any bit along the arch the wheel arch here right you can buy a panel that goes up about this size and it's not the end of the world that's not you know now i'll tell you what is the end of the world and walk away guys as you see this drip gutter rail here on top of you on top of any bay bus okay i'm serious about this right if you see corrosion in here over your passenger or driver's door depending on whether you're left or right hand drive if you see corrosion there and you see the, the different layers splitting and swelling getting a little bit bigger leave it alone unless you're a qualified welder or a body a body man here along guys look the gutter basically right if 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 you see in here and if that is um rusted or holes along here or rusted bubbly forget about it don't bother your time with it you're wasting your money guys seriously 
I'm saying that because I know what it I know what it entails to do this. And unless you have a welding course done or you know you're at that level where you think because this is this is serious work. When you get into taking the roof apart or a section of the roof apart, surgical keyhole surgery, etc., it's all a bit yeah, there's other areas where you can do keyhole surgery. I covered it in my videos. And and you can get away with that, right? That's an area you can do, the floors. But when you get into the roof area, no. If the gutters are bad, if this is bad, right? If this piece is bad, guys, don't bother with that bus. There's another bus waiting for you. I promise, there is. There's another bus. That will break your heart. It's, it's, um, it's a professional repair job, that is. And it's mega bucks. Right? If you're rear quarters, right? This is a patina bus. That's staying the way it is, and that's nice too. You know? It's your bus. You have it the way you want it. Um What was I gonna say? Battery trays, okay? So the next thing guys go along. You've come around and now we're onto this guy here. See this guy here? This is where he's prone to rust out, look. And if it's like this, it can be brushed and cleaned and it's perfect. Right? I might be able to show you a bad one. <laughs> so that's one little door now, apart from the passenger door that we saw above, near Buster. Apart from the passenger door and the bottom of the sliding door, these are doors we're talking about. Now you have this guy. And if this is rusted, these can be difficult to get in the particular year that you want, if you want period correct. Okay? Bit of a mouthful. To, and when you're searching this stuff, and that's when you realise, you know, there's different impressions on different years, etc. There's a standard replacement one, you know. It's a reproduction, and you can go with that. Again, or should we go on? No, we should go on. Right? You have the battery tray which resides in there. I'm surprised that maybe it's because I've got like, shades on, but ah, yeah, you're okay. The shades make this look really dark. Your battery tray is the metal work that's in here. Your battery sits on it. Okay, you can see that. Yeah, reasonably good. Well, this is good actually. And you would have an engine in here. <laughs> Not doing mechanics today, guys, sorry. Again, just a tray. You check in here on the left and on the right. Okay, either side of your engine. And if they're rotted out, they're not the end of the world either, guys. You can live with that. And even if you can do a little bit of welding, you can actually replace your battery trays. You, yes, you can. Okay, watch my videos, yeah? <laughs> um, again, check. This is the most important piece, guys, of all the bus, I would say. If the gutter rails are bad, walk away. All day, walk away. Rear quarter panel, you can always, you know, mask it off, cut it a line, straight, your replacement piece offered up, scribe it. It's pot, you won't, you won't go wrong with that kind of stuff. Same again with the wheel arch. Again, you have what we call the long panel, yeah? It's all okay. Check that. See, I have a little bit there, look. I don't know if you can see that. Again, this is a patina bus. She'll never see water, yeah? So she'll be okay. And we're back to the drivers. And again, now can you remember without me saying, what would you look for here, guys? That, on your way back up. That's gone. That needs doing, I'll be doing this. This is onto the, getting onto the, this area here, under the brake reservoir, look. It leaked. Yeah, and now we've got Swiss cheese going on, guys. So that whole piece needs replacing. And then you have now that is an identification that there has been a repair done there. You can hopefully see what I see. You can see this kind of yeah, and it appears like there's water getting in here as well. Look, yeah, but anyway, yeah, there's a repair there so. And we have the repair over there on the far side. Um, cab floors, yeah, basically. Um, you don't have to buy the full floor, you can get it in halves, okay? Uh, so that's no problem. The, the, these kind of stuff is no problem. Only once I've said so far, if you recall. Once, the gutter. If the gutter is bad, guys, move on. Stay away from it. 
Again, you check your door here, yeah? underneath here, all the way down. You can see that bit easy enough. And put your hand in under here, right? And your steps, right? And the steps look nice here. So there you go. That's it. And the inside, you're not going to see it because your dash is going to be in there. And you're not going to see this, but I will show you. I'll show you now, guys, in a minute, right? Yeah, when your windscreen is leaking, what you, what you can get, right? Uh, we've done the door, we've done the floor, we've done the... Right. And again, here. Right? And I don't know. Well, let's see if I can get you in here to see what I see. But basically, I'm putting my finger in holes here, look. Right? And I've, I've covered this in the video of how to do this repair. Okay? So, and how to make this piece and the dimensions of it, etc, etc. Don't know if you can see that or not. It's just here behind the front wheel, look. In here, yeah, that whole piece and how to do keyhole surgery because that's gone as well. That'll need the same on that side, guys. Yeah, okay, uh, that's that. Oh man, listen to that. Jesus, beautiful, beautiful. Now, the last thing, guys, is. You have to get underground. I'm afraid you have to get underground and you give a look up underneath it. Yeah? And you check. You check your chassis. Right? Check your chassis. The bottom of your steps. All around the front here. Yeah? You crawl along the floor and you check. Oh, look at that. Yeah? This one has a belly pan. And if the belly pan is looking good, guys, and in here in the corners, yeah, behind it, just put your fingers and check this all out. And if that's all good and it doesn't squash, yeah, it feels good, right? That's okay, because you know what? If there's a belly pan on it, like there is this one, right? If there's a belly pan on it, then the other stuff has never seen daylight. <laughs> Which is brilliant, yeah? And does your chassis. Chassis is solid, everything is good, yeah? And there's no real rot in there, look, inside, in the wheel tubs. Look at, at the back, yeah? So, that's what you want to do, guys, if you're buying a bay, right? That's what you want to look for. And finally, guys, I nearly forgot, look. Here we go, right? Check around. This is going to be good. Jeez, if it's bad here, guys, forget. It. You know, but look here, along there. Make sure it's okay along here, right? This edge where the outside skin is folded over, like that. You see that? Okay. Uh, you're probably not going to see. A whole heap, guys. Huh? But this is what a good bus looks like, yeah? I can show you what a bad bus looks, but, but you're going to buy a good bus, hopefully. Hopefully, that's what you're going to pick up, a good bus, guys. Yeah? It's easy. Uh, Seatbelt mounts, anchor points. Have a look underneath, yeah? And have a look there you know the steps this was gone and even it's a good bus and this all this corner piece was all gone here it's a new corner put on underneath this now I've got to investigate where someplace maybe this screw up here guys yeah this water came in someplace to wet that so that's I've got to get on that now <laughs> And there you go, guys. In a bust. Hey, is that a quick tour? Do you think it's okay? Okay, guys. I'll show you some um, some little bits that I said I'd show you. And we call that the video that you needed to see before you go off and make your purchase. Yeah? Um, I don't think I've left anything out, obviously. Like the front windscreen. Check here. Check along here. Yeah?
check along the bottoms of each window because always uh, I don't know if I have the panel or not I could show you but that other video I done on this guys it has 10,000 views got and the amount of lovely comments I've had back from it guys is just overwhelming you know it's it's been a great video it's my best video here's a section of it. look it was all dissected and I said and I know this is not a bay okay this is a vanagon it's there on the ch on the chew on my channel if you want to have a look but look I said that the corner of the windows right you can see it there yeah there's fillers there look see the corner is the slowest part right and this was really good along here but I evidenced it on several times in that video about why the water would be slow getting away out of the corner and the corner would be the first to rot out yeah I it's it yeah it's in that video guys if it's a vanagon you're after then watch that video if you're looking to buy a bay which was like I said from 67 and stroke 68 then that's the one I'll now go and I'll show you some other repairs and stuff that you may come across something like this which I wouldn't be happy with but here's a panel from the the um, Vanagon guys and again look there it is on the corners the co it starts in the corners and it works its way along right these are good panels but I'm just showing you where it and how it starts right there's no point in showing you complete rust buckets just yet but it starts at the corner it works its way down and it starts at the corner that's what you'd be looking for right something that's just starting which is a great thing to see because at least you know right some people will have a lot of stuff covered up and you won't know unless you bring that magnet with you and you're buying bondo yeah you're not actually buying metal so it starts in the corners this would be the rear quarter of a, a vanagon okay okay guys so here's another one of uh, my buses okay and you see this area here if it's a bay this is a bay if it's a bay that you're looking for and, and, and you're after here's where they're prone to rot out okay on this dog leg it's called a dog leg right this area here is typical this area from here to here yeah this area again you can see now what I'm talking about when I say about repairs look the patch does two a patch on top of a patch and you can see it welded it's strong you know it's not it's not the worst it looks terrible obviously because when you open the door that's what you see all right again there's a similar kind of thing here guys this is not my work okay <laughs> but yeah this is an old bus that I bought right um, again look you see now when you when I said to you you lift the mats usually this is what you do you lift the mats okay you lift the mats that's what I'm talking about no one should stop you doing that you want to see what the floor is like yeah and this has been welded in with <laughs> one inch metal or something I don't know but yeah this has been welded in guys and it's been patched here as well look I don't know if you can make it out and then this down on top of that yeah there's lots of lovely work that goes on and when you have enough of this white stuff look yeah which is why you bring your magnet yeah like I said if you put a magnet on there on the metal and you put a magnet on here there's two different resistances and that's what you want to be looking out for yeah sometimes when you when you when you hit a crossroad like this guys I don't know if you can see where I am but see this guy this panel this panel is impossible to get right so you don't want to run into difficulties like that you know you don't this is a 73 bus and the 74 came up here right that panel that kicker front kicker panel is what it's called impossible to get I've sourced one no worries I've sourced one but um, yeah see window openings you know etc again guys behind the front wheel okay 
Uh, I know this is a terrible example and you won't be buying anything like this, but I'm just showing you how bad, yeah? You know, that's your rigger that comes out, your jacking point. And look at, this is the bulge panel that I done the repair on. This is a bulge panel. And look, from there down to the top of the jacking point, nothing. It, I'm showing you, this is, this is a, a, you know, a stage that you won't see very often, but yeah, I'm just showing you how, and it disintegrates, and this is at its late or very late stages, yeah. <laughs> just showing you guys, yeah. Bottom six inches, yeah. Again, look. Steps, yeah. Now, this is an original piece, but again, look at that. You know, you get all kinds of things that hold, yeah. Oh, yeah. And paint over it and uh, and when I get back in that vanagon guys I'll show you um, some repairs that you know I've seen it all road signs you name it yeah gutters yeah all kinds of things I right, saw so here's another example look here's a step all right out of a lance yeah And look, piece of screwed on. Yeah, beautiful. When it gets blasted down, you realise you know you don't you don't have what you thought you had, right? Um, and there's a patch here. Yeah, don't know if you can see that or not. And you've got the. The old hinge, <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, always in this area here, guys. Right? This area can be bad. Just here, see? Show you where I'm looking. There's your step, yeah. So, from here, that's the area you need to concentrate on if you when you're checking your floor pans, yeah, on a bus. And like I said before, look again, there's his evidence again. From here to here, they tend to just go here. And you can see all kinds of Swiss cheese and all kinds of stuff. Now we're going to have a look at again. Seat belt mount, gone. And then there. Behind, again, behind that wheel. So, again, that's behind the seat at the bulge panel. Yeah, it's just another example for you. And you saw it in the bus we just done. I have repaired this area. See, there again, look. The bottom of the B post. And again, the seal. That sill is not too bad, just a little bit here. The rubber holder part of it is a bit, a bit worn away. But uh, again, a repair made here, like a horrible repair made inside. Yeah, and this is all filled up with all kinds of junk. So that needs to be done. I'll be doing that. Yeah, there'll be new dog legs going on this one. And Windscreen, like I said, look, there's the bus, that's the roof of the bus, and come down here, and you see, the lip is gone, look, see it, sorry guys, yeah, the lip, see the lip, it gets spot welded, that gets spot welded, along, and you can see, yeah, it's gone. It's worse by the corner. Mm -hmm. When we go in, that's what we have inside. That's what's inside. That's your in um, inner windscreen, lower windscreen panel. Yeah, which is, and it comes up and it meets. The lip of the outside nose panel 
and the two of them get spot welded together like this. Yeah, that's it. And again, a step. Yeah, I think we've covered this one. So that's it guys in full. I think um, we've gone around all or most of the areas. Uh, again, I would just say if it's a roof issue, leave it alone. Um, it'll cost you a fortune. It's it's way too skilled a job for anybody, you know, with even with even um, basic skills um, to, to go at. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please click the like, the share, the subscribe. Um, and if it's a Vanagon you're after, go on the other video, yeah? Um, so thanks very much guys see you in the next one ciao